guys, um, so I know there have been like numerous questions of what it's like working for Disney, performing for Disney, and auditioning, so I figured I could answer some questions and help fill some of the bases out. Um, so I actually auditioned in New York City um, a few years ago. I um, entered the room, there was about 600 other performers in there. Um, at the end of the audition process, there was about 11 of us left. Um, they started out with bringing us in in different groups, um, probably about groups of 50, and taught us a quick little ballet combo. Um, from there, they made, of course, those cuts. Then they brought all of the remaining dancers back in, and we learned a jazz combination. Um, from there, they made different cuts as well. Um, and then they taught us a little bit more of that jazz combination. And we did that. They made some more cuts. and. We did a little bit of partnering with the male dancers that are left over from that whole audition um, process. From there, um, they said they would contact us. They took our height, if we had any tattoos, anything like that. Um, from then, I took about a month or so and I got a call and they did offer me my first contract. I am now um, four contracts in and I love it so much. Um, for performing for main stage wise, we go to Toronto for about two months and that's where we learn all of our shows. I currently am on the Disney Fantasy, so our shows that we do, um, we perform Aladdin, Frozen, Waves, and Believe. So we go to Toronto for those two months and that's when we learn all of our material for those shows. From then on, after those two months, we go to Florida for about three days. That's when you do some of your safety classes. If you don't have to do those as you are returning, you get to just go to the parks and have a really fun time and just have some free time in Florida. So after those few days in Florida, that's the exciting time and we get on to the ship, whatever ship you are on, the dream, the fantasy, whatever, um, that's when we get on. So we wake up about 5 a.m. that day, maybe even 4.30 a.m., meet downstairs. We take all of our luggage and we get on the magic bus. It drives us to the ship where we pull up super early morning right when the sun is raising up. And we get to see our beautiful new home for the next kind of six, six and a half months. Um, our full contract length is about nine months. So it's a very long time, but it's so worth it. Um, back to that first day, so we get on the ship, we have safety classes and different HR classes that we do have to take. We do a beautiful ship tour of everything, which is really cool because we get to see all of the guest area and we do get to see all of the secret little crew areas and how we can get around the ship without even being seen by guests. So it's very interesting actually for crew we have something that we call an I-95. If you think about it, it's like a walking freeway for the crew. And that's where we get all the way from the forward to the aft of the ship. Um, and we don't have to be in Disney look, so it's a pretty fun way to get around. But that's our first day on the ship. It's super early, we go to bed super late, um, but it's just full of excitement and we get to see you know, our new home of everything. Um, once we get on, we have two weeks of what we call crossover. That's where we are staging our shows, teching our shows, doing classes, learning all about you know, pyro and all of the kind of secrets and magic of Disney, which is really, really amazing. So after those two weeks, that's when we officially get to open as a cast and we have our opening night show. Um, we learn, you know, within those two weeks, we learn about greeting our character friends, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, all of them. Um, and it's, it's just so much fun. But yeah, back to opening night, we have our opening night after those two weeks and then from then on we just take over the ship which is really exciting for the next six six and a half months like I said before so usually our weeks are kind of the same but they also change up randomly too when we have special cruises but usually that Saturday night for at least on the fantasy the guests hop on and that's the start of our cruise um, that night we usually perform um, the welcome aboard show and that's just the singers and our character friends um, The next night after that is our formal night, which is Sunday and that's of course our Aladdin show Which you know features Aladdin and Jasmine and of course the genie as well And it's a very friendly fun show 
Um, the night after that, it kind of changes throughout. Um, but we have pirate night, which is super fun, where everyone gets to dress up. And we have special uniforms that we wear. The characters have special uniforms. Um, even the guests get to dress up too, which is super, super awesome. Um, from then on, we have um, our show Frozen, which we perform, which is just so beautiful with Anna and Elsa and Olaf, which is really, really fun. Um, he's a little puppet in there, so he's really cool. Um, from then, we have our show Believe, and we usually perform that on the last night after we go to Castaway. And then from then on, we go to sleep, and the next morning, the guests get off, and we have new guests come on just a few hours later. So that's kind of our week for performing. Um, for our performers, our salary is based on a weekly wage. So no matter if we work 80 hours, no matter if we work only 30 a week, we make the same wage no matter what that is in our contracts, which is really, really awesome. Um, other than that, it's just, it's such a great experience. Although we are away from our family and our friends at home for a long time, we do make a family within ourselves, um, just within the cast. We have about 40 cast members total within our character friends and our main stage friends. So we really do just make it a family, especially if we're on for holidays or anything like that. We do our own Secret Santa and our own Christmas. We have crew events that we do get to celebrate, you know, Halloween and dress up and have all of those spectacular moments. So it's really, really amazing. Um, comment below any other questions that you do have that I didn't cover. I know there's so many questions that you guys probably are itching to ask and all of that, especially straight from a performer. Like I said, this is my fourth contract, so I do have a lot of knowledge. I may not have all of it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed my video and don't forget to subscribe and again, comment below. Bye guys.